Hey guys, this is our uh, explainer video for mining Dynamo coin. You can, uh, using these tools, you can you can mine your own Dynamo using uh, just a CPU or a GPU. You'll need two pieces of software. The first is the full node, and then the second is the mining software. So uh, we can get those off of our GitHub repo. You can go to dynamocoin.org. And under community, you can select GitHub, and then you can use the mainnet binaries repo. And in there, there's two full nodes, the Qt, which is the wallet version, and Dynamo server, which is a command line version. Um, I'm going to use the Qt version because I need to create a wallet address to mine to. So we'll, uh, we'll download that. <coughs> You can put this pretty much anywhere that you want. Just put it on my desktop. Okay, and I'm going to open that up. It's going to give you a warning because it thinks it's a virus. And then this will start up. So you can uh, you can keep the default data directory the same. It's going to say that there's 350 gigabytes for the blockchain, which is not correct. Um, it's actually I don't know, maybe a couple megabytes or something, but um, we need to change the static text here. But anyway, you can basically just keep everything the same here, hit OK, and then it's going to start to synchronize. So you can see uh, May 21st, uh, May 23rd, that was our Genesis block, and as of the making of this video, there's about 49,000 or 50,000 headers, so when that number gets to around there, you should be done. It tells you how many days behind. Um, while that's synchronizing, we can go over and download the mining software as well. So back on the repo, you can go into the miner subdirectory. And then these are the individual files. Uh, I've also put a miner package uh, zip file here, which just has all of these zipped up. Um, if you need VC Redist, I've put it there. Um, you probably shouldn't. It'll complain if it, if it says it needs VC Redist. So we're just going to click on miner package and download. Okay. This uh, you can also put anywhere, it doesn't matter what the directory is, and then we're just going to extract. And so you'll get those files. These are, um, the CL is the OpenCL GPU program that runs for the GPU miner. DynMiner EXE is the main executable that you're going to run. There's three support DLLs, and then the batch file, which is a sample batch file. Um, I'll show you what this looks like. It's going to again complain. Okay. So basically, this just says run the miner. Um, this is going to be your internal URL for mine on this AWS instance. It's 10.1.0.62. Um, this is the username and password that you're going to set in the RPC settings. Um, uh, you'll see those over here, uh, user is the username and 123456 is the password. This is going to be your wallet address. This parameter is either GPU or CPU, depending on which kind of mining you want to do. And then if you use CPU mining, um, this is the number of threads. And you don't always necessarily want to max it out. You can tinker around with this a little bit to find out what your, your best hash rate is. So right now, the only thing we need to change is the IP address. And again, you can just type um, you can type IP config if you do start CMD, open a command prompt, and type IP config. Uh, you should get your your address here, ten one zero sixty two. Okay. If you change the username and password on your RPC settings, um, then you should put those there. And then once our wallet is synchronized. Okay, we're still loading here. And then we can go generate our address. Um, we can actually generate the address now. So uh, we can do create new wallet. You can call this anything that you want. And leave these blank or uh, make them whatever you want. Doesn't really matter, but I'll leave them blank. And then this will create the wallet. Now, uh, it's important to know that creating this wallet is generating private keys. 
and that's what's going to secure whatever coins that you have. All the coins are stored on the blockchain, right? The wallet doesn't actually store anything. Um, it just holds the private keys. Um, so if you lose those private keys, you will lose all of your coins. So very important uh, that you back that up. Okay, so we're going to click on receive, create new receiving address, and there it is. So we can copy this address, and then I can use that in my minor software to swap out for that. Okay, I'm going to do CPU mining. Um, I'm not sure what this instance looks like in terms of performance. Let's just see here. So this has one socket with two processors. So um, I will just choose two here for two threads. Okay, so that's what our batch file will look like. I'm going to save it. Um, now we will not be able to mine until the network is fully synchronized. Um, the miner software uh, con connects to the wallet RPC and it will um, try to say, are you up to date? Because it doesn't want to mine against uh, a, um, an old software. So we'll, we'll need to wait till that, uh, till that happens. Um, and looks like well, it says we're still synchronizing. We can give it a try. So uh, if you want, you can first run it in the command line, um, in a command prompt, so that you can see if there's any errors that come up. Um, so go here, and then we just type, uh, oh, sorry, I, missed, I skipped a step. Um, in order to make the RPC listen, we need to shut down the, um, the full node, and then... Uh, and then set this R, the RPC settings. So the RPC settings are stored in users. Some, some user, uh, in my case, administrator is the local user, app data, roaming, and Dynamo. And you will see that uh, actually here there's not a file yet. So we can do a new text file. I'm going to call it dynamo.conf okay and then okay okay so it's just a plain old text file and we're just going to put these values in here um, again, you're going to put your IP address, so what you found from IP config. You can leave the RPC port, or you can change it if you want. The username and password, and then the allow. Um, so there you go. Now, when I start up the wallet software, it will load uh, an RPC uh, server with it. Uh, okay, you know what? Because it hasn't yet synchronized, it's upset about pruning, so we should... Um, just say transaction index is zero. You may need to change that, doesn't really matter. If you had let the wallet fully synchronize, it would have let you index transactions, but because it's still doing the initial block download, it doesn't know that it can index transactions, so not a big deal. I'm gonna uh, uh, just cut out the video until this uh, block synchronization is complete, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so we uh, finally got synchronized with the network and we are now ready to start mining. So I'm going to go back into this um, directory. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go to here. Oops. Okay, so we're. So we're in, in the directory where the minor package was uh, exported. I've edited the batch file, and we are going to run it. Let's see how we do. Okay, so it's telling me my hash rate, which is uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, we probably won't get a coin because there's quite a bit of hash rate recently. 
but that seems pretty good. Um, oh, uh, we actually got two coins. Okay, well, I'm going to stop it here because I don't want to get too many coins here. Um, but uh, but basically that's it. So now you're mining, and you can see that your uh, transactions are in here. They're going to be immature because um, we wait for a, a certain number of confirmations. So you can see here four confirmations. Um, it'll be available after 11 more. So those are the two the two coins that I just mined. Um, if you want to use GPU, then you can just change CPU to GPU. Um, the only limitation is right now that it only uh, selects the first um, GPU present in your system. So if you have multiple, uh, there's no way to use them right now. We'll, we'll um, probably update the software once people start to use uh, professional miners. Right now there's no off-ramp, so I don't think that there's going to be a lot of demand. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's basically it. I'll post a copy of the settings uh, in the description, and I will uh, summarize the steps as well. Uh, again, feel free to jump into Discord or uh, post on Reddit if you have any questions. There's lots of people there that are available to help. All right, thanks for watching.